everyone. Hi, good afternoon. This is Yahui. I'm from Owner Circle. So um, for those of you who know me, um, I'm the marketing rockstar in Owner Circle. For those of you don't, who don't know me, so basically I'm in charge of the marketing in uh, Owner Circle. So um, today, I am taking over the mic from Jonathan and Raymond for once because uh, this is frankly a topic that I really enjoy. And then, uh, yeah, and also the speaker is a good friend of mine. So I know I'm rambling. Uh, can I just know whether any of you are live? Uh, can Can you guys just drop me a comment, say hello? Hey, Kaho, nice to see you here. All right, uh, we'll just wait for a couple more minutes for, pe for people to come in. Hi, Karita. Hi, Johnson. Hi, I see some new faces, some familiar faces. Welcome to the uh, welcome to Owner Circle. So today's session is our community expert sharing. So what happens is uh, Owner Circle, we are a business owners community, right? And within our community, there is so much knowledge so much sharing that we can't wait to bring to all of you. So this is why we are doing this uh, community expert sharing, bringing not just the expertise from our trainers, Jonathan and Raymond, we are also bringing our community experts to share with you about uh, the topic title. So hi everyone, I'm seeing more users coming in. So right, um, the, so let me just uh, explain a bit about the, the speaker you are about to meet today. Uh, he'll be sharing how to make products look like a million bucks with simple easy video hacks. So a lot of people, yeah, they always see a lot of, um, I'm not sure about you guys, you see a lot of people, they teach you uh, how to do video, all you need is just a phone and then you can just start shooting, right? Of course, everyone knows how to do that, but how do you want to do it well, right? So this is why we selectively chose this speaker to come and talk to you. Um, the speaker today, he's actually a very good friend of mine. He, um, his name is uh, JC. Sometimes I call him Nyo, sometimes I call him JC Nyo. His name is basically uh, uh, JC Nyo, right? And then uh, he is the co-founder of SEM Asia, and then he is the operations director there as well. So, um, so I actually first met him uh, during one of our one of our events, and he struck me as a very inquisitive, very generous, and willing to learn person. So he he's a he's a very keen and constantly improving person. So uh, I, as a matter of fact, I know I know for a fact that he wakes up at I don't know five a.m. or six a.m. just to go to coaching with uh, with his business coach, right? So he's constantly learning and. Uh, learning and growing and also as an artist as a video producer as a video editor right he's also constantly learning on that and then uh one of the best ways uh is to learn and grow is to share with all of you right so without further ado i would like to present to you the speaker of the day mr Nyo from SEM asia oops hello hi <laughs> Am I in? hi hi can everyone see him? Please say hi, Neo. Right. Yeah. Like the Please Matrix Neo, right? The yeah. cool Give me a thumbs up uh, if you can see me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you okay, can see thanks. Uh, Over to you, Neo. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, thank you, uh, Owner Circle, um, Rayburn, Jonathan, and especially Yahweh for facilitating this. Thank you a lot for this opportunity. Um, before I even start, I just want to set a quick expectation, right? Um, this whole easy hacks and a million bucks video is a very beginner stage of a level. So if you're just about to start and just about to see how how you want to do this thing, how do you want to take a phone and shoot, what you to think about, what should I plan, who should I shoot, what kind of background, this is the video for you. So if you want more advanced stuff, please talk to us. We can give you advanced stuff as well. And then so... Just grill him. I'm watching the comments. So I will stop you anytime and then just will you, right? You okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Anytime, please stop me if you have any questions, just ask. Uh, yeah. But what I'm covering now today is a very fundamental stage. So for you to know what to consider when you want to shoot. And also within this uh, live chat, there is a few of my team members is also inside. So if you have questions that I may have missed or want to add additional info, they will add additional information within the comments as well. So feel free to ask extra questions if you guys want. Okay, so um, also 
before I begin, I just want to share you this main purpose is there are two things that you really want to look at. When I share all my details and information, I will mention mm -hmm. things that is very important mm -hmm. that you must, must, must consider. Okay. And I will share things that I will say it out loud as well. When I share, I will share things that to say, hey, all you need to do now is just be aware of this pointer. Then at least when you shoot, it's at the back of your mind, you're aware of, because the, the, the limitation is endless. There's no limitation at all. And I will say things that is very important. You must, 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 by rule of a hook, do this. Okay? Good or good? The fundamental rule is um, must do and be aware. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, so while, while uh, Neil is talking, some of the must do, he will stress. For those that you just need to be aware, just be aware. Because a video, if I understand correctly from an amateur perspective, has a lot of moving parts, right? It can be very overwhelming. So, yeah, over to you, Neil. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, first thing first, just want to do a very quick introduction. If you guys do not know me yet, I'm from SM Asia and also uh, not too long ago, we created a company called TrueXR for virtual, augmented, and mixed reality. And we are the only 11K cinema VR camera that we have in the whole Malaysia. So um, I just want to show you a few samples of what a VR can do. So within this segment, I will switch my camera a bit. Forgive me because this is something that uh, you guys must see is really true. This is my business partner. His name is Benjamin. Yeah, his name is Benjamin. Uh, unfortunately, to the ladies, he's not single, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this was damn cool. When you first shot, uh, you were dying to show me, right? And then you WhatsApp me, yeah. and I'm like, wow. This wow. is the new trend right now. In order for us to tell a story, I can pivot around. By the way, this is only a proof of concept. This is not wow. a final yet. So you can move around the university and you can select which area you want to go. All right. Wow. So this is called a virtual tour. Mm. Okay. And you can have a host to explain to you. This is the new trend of filmmaking right now to do mm. film that is 360. So this is right. our own pivot method as well. All right. Okay. So let me jump back to the slide. Yeah. You're giving something for them to aspire to, right? Yeah. Yep. Once you master fun fundamentals of video, you can aim for 3D in the future. If you want to know more about what you can do with this for your business, right, just pop on to us, let us know, and we will come to you as well. Okay, so this is what we can do, and we are award winners and uh, award uh, finalists of a few film competitions, and these are the few of it. And we have businesses that we have covered throughout, like uh, Aramco, Kazana, GSMA, British American Tobacco, Marriott, NASA, and so on and so forth. So basically, we know the pain of uh, SMEs as well. We know the pains of businesses. So in summary, that there's no business too big, no business too small. Because when it comes down to video, means you have something you want to resolve. So that's where we come in. Okay. Um, and there you go, that's about us. So right. I'm going to jump right straight to it. So far, I suppose no one has any questions right about us. Okay, so no questions. Any questions? Now? Well, I see a lot of people. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hello, go hello. Uh, so <laughs> by, the way, by the way, just to let you guys yeah. know, I'm a bit blinded because I can't really see the, the Facebook uh, the comments and all. So Yahoo was my second eye to see comments. Uh, thanks, Yahoo. <laughs> so I'm looking at just the slide. I only can see the slide. Yeah. So the first thing first is why video. So even if you are yeah. yet to venture into video, I would suggest take your own time and do your own research. So for those who have already done video a bit, uh, they would have already seen results. Be it the video is good, bad, ugly, excellent, Hollywood. They have, would have already seen results just by the fact that they are doing videos. And if you agree with me, you can say, yeah, some of you, I know you are here live and you have done video and you have uh, gotten results as well. And mm. if you have not, please do your own research. There are tons of research saying that you must do video. And I won't go into that in depth because there's just too many of it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But what's, what's most important is that uh, I want to explain to you why is it important to consider what you are shooting? Why is it? Why is a, why good visuals are important for your videos? 
Um, okay, just a just, uh, fair, fair note that it's not just for videos, it is also for visuals in general. Visuals in general, when it comes up to your, from your company, from your business, is very important. Because visuals that you create, it reflects the position of your brand. Mm. Okay, so mm. what do I mean by that? Right, um, here you go. You see this yeah. lamp, lamp top, right? Yes, that's too. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, ex exactly. That's the point that that you're you're spot on on point. A lot of people who enjoys going to Morni, a lot of people who enjoys going to Mama, uh -huh. and sit there for four, five, six, or overnight hours, they yeah. will definitely hop onto this trend and say, "Hey, this is delicious, man." But one <laughs> thing, let's say, if you're an F and B business and hmm. you imagine yourself being the Marinis of Malaysia, and you I'm launch, this kind of of Malaysia. yeah. yeah. And if you're Marini from Malaysia and you launch this kind of picture, what do you think the feedback will be like? Can you imagine yourself? <laughs> you're right. So if you're in the Marini section, then you will want to present something that oh, is yeah. classy, yep. right? Right. Mm -hmm. So there is no such thing as a terrible video. In the end of the day, it comes back down to who are you target marketing? Who are you, who is your STM? In the owner circle, we are taught to say STM, right? Your specific target market. Specific target market. That's right. You need to be very, very clear who you are addressing. So um the, the photo that you see just now, the Muni one, it works for Muni, but it does not work for Marinis. So you have to know who you're talking to and then how much effort you put in, right? Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. if you are the kind of person who don't enjoy going to Marinis, maybe you go there once in a year. Then you will see this picture, it wouldn't be appealing to you. But when you see this picture, you will lao hao so yeah in Chinese I say. <laughs> so these are the picture that depending on your target market. So it's very important for your business, right? If you know your specific target market to know what is their their cravings. <laughs> okay. So another example, this is products and uh, F &B. If you're in the service industry, right, then if this is the kind of service that you portray and you want to target that specific target market that enjoys, that don't mind so much about your pictures, and this is what you want to do, then can you can put pictures like that. But if you are a business, you want to provide more security to a different group of people, then probably this is the kind of picture that you want to yeah. provide, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it most importantly, is this what your business portray your visuals like as well? That's right. All right? Yeah. And also, all this is talking about branding. La. So one of the uh, around our community one of the very good person i spoke with is from the bike bear team then if you want to talk more about branding you can even talk to yahoo go and talk mm -hmm. to the bike bear team about more about branding yep. i suppose yeah basically we all work, work, each other, work with each other right <laughs> yeah right, right, yeah. Right. it takes a team to build uh build branding it takes a team effort yeah and it takes a while la. it's not like one picture oh my brand oh, yeah. it's a marathon <laughs> Yeah, on branding is definitely a marathon. Consistency, consistency, and then uh, yeah, just con continuously yeah. doing. Yeah. Okay, so I would not dwell into too much about branding because today you guys are here for video, right? So, <laughs> most importantly to know, right, that just by having a better quality video, right, you will retain more viewership for your for your content. But That's if right. your video is not appealing enough, you will have very high rates of abandonment. And you see the orange word here, the reason why this is so important, right? Everything is about the experience of what your company is providing. It's all about what kind of experience that you are portraying from your company. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Viewer abandonment means people just dropping off your video entirely. Yeah. 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 So if you do not have that, then it's something to reconsider lah, for your video. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need the message to get across. Lah, so you need to hold exactly. them up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so that's for the introduction for why this is so important. At this point of time, I suppose there's no questions, right? If you have, please. No, no questions. Ask. Yeah, okay. don't worry. I will, I will stop you whenever. Carry okay, on. Mm. Okay. okay. So um, if you guys also have seen Jason Leong, and I we know of each other, and I ripped up one of his videos here to put it here for to show you guys. And um, this is what he's... If you guys remember, there was a whole craze about financial advisors don't even have a proper audio equipment. I will just show you uh, this segment how it looks like. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, just let me know if you can hear the audio. Yeah. Okay. Nowadays, I see a lot of ads on Facebook. Can you hear the audio? 
can yeah. how many people, have seen this video yeah how many of you have seen this video if you haven't i'm gonna play it anyways <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'll play now huh? yeah start okay then they can make me rich if i sign up for their online courses and all these people they are trying to sell the idea that they're very rich and they're very successful but they can't seem to even have the money to buy proper audio equipment Trust them. Only. I want I'm standing up. and for some reason they are all chinese and they speak with rather bad english the u.s share market as well as the global share market has been punched once and right by what what is punch once and right four <laughs> reasons why video marketing is no longer an option for you and your business why video marketing is no longer an option in your business what do you mean is no longer an option do you mean is no longer a choice okay la, so i'll stop there la. so you guys get a rough idea how is it like la. that's why that's so important to say that what your company presents is a reflection of what your business is as well so it's right. super important to be aware of this uh, okay so i'll proceed further uh. mm -hmm. so now in simple term um so that i get everyone to understand making a film making a video is exactly the same as how you would in baking a cake so let me give you an example right a few scenarios let's say now you want to bake a chocolate cake right you prepare the ingredients of the vanilla, uh, vanilla vanilla chocolate cake. <laughs> you prepare the cocoa powder, you prepare the chocolate, you prepare all the materials. At the end of the day, when you want to deliver to your whoever, your, your girlfriend or boyfriend, then they tell you, hey, I want vanilla cake can. Ah. <laughs> so Same with video. Match your expectations. <laughs> your first, first thing to do is to know what are you expecting in the end after you bake a cake. Know your expected right. outcome, right? Yes. Yes. Mm. If you're and on you a cake, you have to pay more. <laughs> and I wouldn't say it's not impossible to change, but you think about it, to change a chocolate to vanilla cake will be more expensive than creating a whole chocolate, a new vanilla cake by its own. Basically, you may need to send to the science lab to do this, to do that, right? So it's the same thing with video. Mm. There's another scenario where people will say, hey, at the end of the day, it's too sweet, la, the cake. Can I take out the cake sugar? so that you can just use the cake alone. So this is so impossible. It's the same thing. It's cheaper to just redo the whole cake again. Yeah. So why am I saying this right in video context? So let's say I've done the video all nicely already and then clients send me an uh, old video or, or someone else sent me an old video saying that, can I just use this footage? You just need to take out the text in that footage. The text is right in the middle of the video. <laughs> so it's the same principle. It's not impossible, but it will be much cheaper to just redo the whole video because right. the process is very, very uh, stringent, very tedious process. Okay. Okay. So in just like baking a cake, there are things that you need to prepare. The ingredients, the mixing of the cake, and the baking of the cake, which how we, de we separate these three main key points of today. The three tips is to think about your pre-production, to be very delicate in your production, and to consider items in your post-production, what you need to do. These are the three main points, okay? So this is what will happen if you do not put your things properly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, you are, if you have too much, too much sugar, too much water, too much milk, and this is what will happen to your cake. Everything but, needs to be just right and pre-planned. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. And to think about it, right, some people would, wouldn't mind to have cake like this. I Means some people wouldn't mind to have videos like this. But is this what you want to present to your to your boyfriend or girlfriend, for example, or your wife? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with the company basis. Maybe if you're doing a video for your own kaki song, then, okay, fine. But if you're doing a video that's going to be portrayed out to people, something to consider, lah, I would suggest. Okay, These are things that are super important for you to think about. Lah. Okay. So now in pre-production, you are supposed to prepare your ingredients. In production sense, the ingredients are like sound, the location, what kind of camera. These are things you must, must consider and the subject that you're shooting is very important to consider. So within these three tips, these three tips, within these three tips, there's a lot of micro tips inside that you must be aware of. Okay. And in production, yeah. And in production, 
um, it's about making and mixing the kick together. So when you're shooting, things that you must consider are like lighting, the sound, and also the angles. Mm -hmm. I will cover that a little bit more. And in the end, when you're baking the kit, it's about the music, the sound, the voice, and all the additional sugar and spice and, and the decoration that you need, which is the post-production. Yeah. Okay. So far, no one has questions, right? No. Okay. I proceed. Now, same goes to baking a cake. The pre-production is the ingredients of your video. So the one of the very key important part is your desired concept. This is like a glove hand in hand important with your production value. Basically, the desired concept is your story, your approach, your, your, your campaigns, your copywriting. All right. So if you are on Owner Circle community member, if you're a very good student, if you're not a good student, you can type, I'm not a good student. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a good student, you would have went through the CIS program. You went through the Yahoo program, right, of, uh, of, of talking about how to create a good copy. You most likely have a rough idea of what you want to tell a story already. All right, that's right. If you if you don't have that yet, please contact Yahoo on the team in Owner Circle so that you can learn how, how to write back your play. Uh. Thank you. All right. Basically, and, it's having the clear story to tell to your audience. Yeah. So you get it right from the beginning. You get your kid right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm not I'm not going to cover that because I think that has been covered by experts like Yahoo already. So I'm going to skip on to the other, the technical portion of things. So things to consider is like the camera, a certain port. I'll explain what the certain port is, a microphone, environment, and a couple of lighting source, and the subject matter. Okay. So about camera, okay, so this is thing to be aware of. It's not super important, but something to consider when you're doing your video shooting because different mm -hmm. cameras do give you different experiences, okay? So there is two main features that I want to show you with two phones, which is a Samsung. Some of you guys are using Samsung, but I'm not using Samsung. I'm using an iPhone. And it gives you very uh, high frame rates. The higher the frame rate allows you to shoot slow moves and it shoots at 8K. And most computers that we are using today, even our internet, lah, not, don't, don't just say our computer, lah, our internet cannot tahan the 4K video yet. <laughs> so most of us will be staying at the HD for now. Until the time where 5G has covered the whole of Kang Valley, I think we can start going 4K. Lah. <laughs> but now I think not yet, okay? But the good thing about using such a high-end phone, right, you get the dynamics of colors, wow. the dynamics of uh, different tones of white, the different tones of black. So when we see pictures and good quality video, we always see what kind of dynamic of color that, or shadows that we get, all right? So I'm, let me quickly go, go through this video here. I will skip the portion where you see what... Uh, I'll skip to a portion where you see what a Jangye phone can do. Lah. Okay. So if you can see, right, right, in the cheap video and the stones video, you can see the different dynamics between area and color and tonality. All right. This is what a good phone can do. Okay. So the other one is iPhone. Um, I personally use an iPhone. And the good thing about the iPhone, the reason why I use iPhone for so long, right, was because they are they their phone itself internally, they have a natural stabilization unit internal in, uh, phone internally for shooting videos that is very good since before in comparative to other Android phones. All right. So iPhone, if you, I'm sure you guys have seen stuff like this in their iPhone commercials before. I'm just going to skip to one small section where you can see this. Oops. See, this is running on HD and my internet is also slowing down. <laughs> there you go. This is HD. So if you see the different tones of orange, different tones of color, this was shot on iPhone. It's super cinematic. And of course, the setup also was quite crazy. Lah. I, I do not expect everyone to shoot setups like this. Okay. So this is a phone capturing. It's endless possibilities. Now, if you don't have an mm -hmm. iPhone, you don't have a very expensive Samsung, don't worry. Don't fret about it. There are plenty of other models of phones that you can shoot. That's why I say this is something to be aware of. But it's not super essential. And my tip for yeah. you, right? Mm -hmm. Tell you, you are all business owners here, and I'm sure some of you already will have a high-end phone. If you do not have an high-end phone, right? I tell you, just call your friend that has an iPhone. 
<laughs> call your friend or yourself that has a very good iPhone or something. <laughs> yeah, it's called collaborative marketing. You can credit them. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> All right. So uh, the resource for for internal shoots, you can use the, any resources that you guys can find, lah. Okay. So just something to be aware. It's not a super high priority to think about the quality that you want to experience from the shots. Okay. So these are pods. It's gorilla pods, a tripod, or a monopod. Unfortunately, I do not have a photo of a monopod, but the closest I can find is this right side top. It's not a monopod, it's considered as a tripod, but it looks something like that. Lah. <laughs> and just be frank, even myself, right? I've been I've not touched a camera for a very long time. Um, but I've been doing arrangements with shootings. And even if I don't touch camera for a long time, uh, I know a lot of people here that was watching this never touch camera in their life one. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think that you have a super steady hand. Lah, huh? <laughs> Unless you say that you are super zen and your hands are very steady, then okay, fine. But let's be frank, we don't have a steadiest of hands. Please use a pot, a tripod, a motor pot, or a gorilla pot. And things that you can do with them, you can move left to right, in and out. For example, like this picture, you can pull in and pull out. You can push left to right by dragging the tripod. If your floor is sticky and it doesn't have very, it, it has some friction to it, add talcum powder or add some kind of powder to the floor and you can drag mm -hmm. much further. So this and will allow you to create, yeah, this will create a bit of dynamics to this. Yeah. Uh, but this is super important because don't expect to be very steady of hands. Do have a pot with you in your in yourself uh, handy. La. And the pots are not very mm -hmm. expensive. Uh, it's about 20 30 ringgit only right unless yeah. you want to do our level right our level we use the stuff like succeed la, for probably a thousand odd range one 1000 for a stick la. oh my god <laughs> it's different range la, about this bigger camera it's man, right, yeah. yeah okay so this is super important um you don't need to get an expensive one at least have one that's what i'm saying for your phone shooting okay got it and you, you want to go at a higher level, this is to be aware, it's limitless. And those who have, uh, what Raymond say, <laughs> you can you, uh, can buy stuff like this. You can buy stuff like this. It's ranging from about four to a thousand eight, a thousand nine. 400 to about a thousand nine ringgit. All right. These are stabilizers. They make your video extra sweet. And the stabilizers like this on the right hand side is about two grand, two uh, thousand ringgit and this will allow you to edit your video straight here Therese. okay so yeah. this is something to be aware but you don't have to dwell into this just just what i just want to show you that this is something that you can do it's limitless lah, basically <laughs> cool the option to level up your production is limitless lah, basically. yeah mm. so mic is super essential that i want to super enforce and drill this to everyone is watching a lousy Open. sound is a lousy video. That's it. <laughs> Doesn't matter how good you have for sound effects. Oh, sorry, sorry. How good you have with visual effects, how nice the sun is, or how nice the moon is, or how pretty mm -hmm. or handsome your subject matter is. Without a good sound, your video is terrible. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, the good thing about nowadays with Facebook and social media, people don't even see sound. People don't even hear the sound. All right. So that's the only thing. But if you are a presenter, if you have content to talk about, please, 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 it's super important. Have a good sound if you're a content provider that has um, vocals to it, okay? And it's also endless limit where you have very cheap brands like Sapkei Kao to 200 ringgit to 90 over ringgit. One of my personal favorite is this, the Audio Technica uh, ATR 3350. I recommend this to a good friend of mine, Kaho, also. And the uh, entry level for road mic road is considered one of the very high range brand. It's about 250 ringgit or so. And with the only drawback is you need a low bang la. Nowadays iPhone got no low bangs, right? So <laughs> chucho blakang. So you need to chuchop extender blakang with the chucho blakang again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the road mic la, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is the Zoom H1. This is a uh, entry level professional audio system that you want. The only drawback about this is you have to edit via your laptops, okay? Um, basically, it gives you an additional audio file, but it's super clear. And this is the new trend, and I just got to know that actually 
it's uh, Raymond's contact as well. <laughs> so if you guys want cheaper than this range, maybe you can talk to Raymond and give you a discount. <laughs> Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, this is a new trend. If you see the price range, it's even more expensive than a Zoom one, which is the entry level of what we use in the industry. <laughs> but this is a wireless mic that is really in trend right now. Lah, and the quality is really good. I have to admit lah. You so really pay what you get. Yeah. Mm. You really pay what you get. Lah. So if you ask me how to select a good audio system, basically it is within your budget. So mm. just know, just have one note whereby the cheaper range the product, the more technical problem that you maybe you will face. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure Yahoo also experienced it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's generally it's like that. The more expensive your product range. You may have an easier life uh, recording without so much technical difficulties. Okay, for those who are doing audio contents, speaking or vlogging, please have a microphone. <laughs> if that is a yeah, that is a dead rule. Yeah. If you have a product and you don't need audio, you are you let go. You're fine. We forgive you. <laughs> but if you are doing content with audio, we don't forgive you. You must have an audio. Okay. Okay. Always right. have audio. Yeah. Right. And now it comes on to my next point in planning. The planning stage of pre-production, their location, to consider outdoor and indoor location. I know most of you are doing indoor, loca indoor shoots, but I'm going to go through outdoor just for the benefit of someone who will shoot outdoor. Okay? Just a quick bit. Yeah. Things to consider outdoor is day, the sunlight, the shade, whether your background is interesting, don't have very ugly background people fighting or something at the back or people oh, leaving yeah. their clothes. <laughs> yeah, things like that. And then the magic hour, the background noises and accessories. Okay. Mm. So quickly, um, these are things to be aware of. It's not high priority, but when you shoot, you must think about this uh, when you are planning with your shots. Okay. Let's say if you have the best time, if you have ample of free time, do shoot at around this period, the 9 a.m. season or the 5 p.m. season. In Malaysia, it's, I think, 5.30 to 6 p.m. season. The, the sun is not too glaring and hot. Because in the afternoon, this is what happens to your face. The shadow is super harsh. You may not be able to see your eyes mm -hmm. and the sun is right at the top of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay? So something to be aware of. Um, also, just be aware that, let's say you got no choice, uh, a new, uh, I only have smack 12 o'clock to shoot. Uh, apa macam. So things to, for you to consider is to try to have the sun facing the back a little bit, but not, not totally at the back because you were back little, just slight bit at the top area back, okay? Okay. And then um, if you also, same thing, have to shoot at the right smack, hot season, then you have to, may have to try to find some area that is under a shade, lah, right? So don't shoot an angle like this because whatever is white is going to pick attention first. Just remember that tip. Whatever is white is going to be seen first. Then whatever is white color. Yeah. Whatever that is white in color will be seen first. Then it will start noticing the, the second angle. So mm. this example of shade, you should be able to shoot in a shady area. Mm. All right? All right. Then the best time to shoot in Klang Valley is this period. The 7 to 7.30 a.m., the 4, uh, the 6.40 to 7.30 p.m. These two periods are what we call the golden hour, where you get the sunlight very yolky, very orangey, and this is the best time to shoot if you want to shoot outdoor shoots. This is the Klang Valley timing. Lah. For other states, I do not know. Um, my wife is Sabahan. So in Sabah, right, I think it's about 6 a.m., ah, the golden hour. So different states, different. So in respective to Klang Valley, these are the best time to shoot outdoors, okay? So much attention to detail, right? Yeah. So mm. these are these are the things that I'm mentioning here. Are things to be aware of, mm. but it's not high priority. It's something to consider when you're planning to shoot, when you're making of your ingredients, okay? But what it happens is that the same thing you will still portray the brand perspective. So for instance, if you are shooting something very sad, very moody, your brand is trying to touch the emotion. But you shoot very hot, hot sun right in the afternoon. So the emotion disconnection is there already. So you may want to shoot somewhere in a golden hour if you're shooting something emotional. So these are the considerations that you may want to, but it's not high priority, as I said, but it will affect your storytelling process. Good or good? 
this is Raymond's word. Fantastic, <laughs> yeah. Uh, adapted, adapted from Raymond. <laughs> What's next? Okay. okay, so an interesting background is super essential. So um I would say this is mid-important, uh, huh? Midway important because your background, right, it tells the story of your character. So if your background have like animal pooping at the background, oh please lah, don't lah. If your eyebrow background got lapsa, why not? And then you're talking about uh, property. Okay, la, don't lah. Huh? It's very clear representation of what your background <laughs> represents. Uh, your, your yeah. to- this one is mid to high importance because your background portrays your outlook of your business as well. Okay, so I will talk about the subject a bit more uh, coming. Okay, so um, traffic wise, if you're sitting outdoor, in summary, just don't find a place that is too noisy. Okay, I have other example here, but I think I don't need to let you guys hear lah. Because it's just generally people can hear or cannot hear what you're presenting. Simple as that. And <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And it's very frustrating if you're presenting something very important and my yellow time they cannot hear at all when you read your, your content. It's very frustrating yeah, very for important. both your business and both the viewers. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now this is what um a sample of indoor shoots. Indoor shoot, you can set up your background a bit nicer so that you can portray your character. And your subject, right, if you take a look here, your subject, don't wear, okay, unless your subject is that kind of persona and a brand, but I would recommend not to wear things that is very striking polka dots, striking line like the like the jail kind of black and white lines, <laughs> like a very striking things that will make people see your baju instead of your whole person character. Unless that is the personification that your brand wants to portray, but I think I'm talking to mostly SMEs and businesses here. Um, the only one I know that want to outstand is people like uh, pot glasses. They want to become the dragon, the, the, the dinosaur dragon pula. <laughs> they want to dress as a dinosaur. Then maybe that's the personification that you want to. But in general, I wouldn't recommend it uh, as, as a general perspective. Okay, These are things to consider, a lot of high importance. But when you talk to your your the person that you want to interview, just make sure that they don't dress up like a jailmate. Lah, huh? <laughs> so this is what I meant by a background that is rep- reflective to your personality. Mm. If you have a flat background, and if it's five years ago where Apple had the white background craze, I would say it's quite tuned. Lah. And mm. now it's not a longer, no longer a tuned thing. Lah, because the background is right. Yeah. Mm. So, it is the second option. If you cannot find a background that is telling a story of what your company is, then have a flat background, it's fine. But the best case scenario, please use a background that represents the story. So for example, if you have a guy wearing a suit in that kind of formal background, it matches as a business or so, it works. But if you have this guy wearing a checkered shirt in that kind of background, it tells you the story that he's a a smart casual businessman that want to tell maybe things about trendy IT things or something to do with film or etc mm-hmm. etc okay this is what's not um said right this is like silent communication right to the audience yes. What you're- yes. yeah. and this I would say is if you are doing contents that has a character presenting I would say it's very important it's super important that is what actually Jason Leong was mentioning a bit, a bit here and there. Things like if your shirt has text, uh, please do a bit of work and flip the video around. <laughs> this is things that is very important. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you are wearing a suit in general, don't cross your arm. So for example, if you are a financial advisor and you want to portray confidence and you're wearing a suit, don't cross your arm because it portrays a different body oh, language. Yeah. Yeah. Don't project confidence. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I would not go too deep into it, but it's something for you to consider and you need to consider if you're presenting as a content or a person in a leadership role, okay? Among our community around here, the one that I know very well that is good, um, very, he's aware and actually he's subconsciously doing this um, very well, which is body language is Raymond actually. He really knows how to, how to play with his body language and do his presentation. So if you want to do more study about body language, check out all his videos and how to present in a, in a, in a position of leadership. He's at, a stage of, he's at a stage of unconscious expert, which is the highest tier when it comes to body language. Okay. 
So I'm going to skip to the next one, which is a product. If you have a product, right, if you place your product like that and tend to say, hey, I'm selling nuts in the left side here. Hey, I'm selling nuts. No one would know that you were selling nuts in the first first glance, right? Sell bottle or sell nut or you sell plastic. Yeah. So as I said, it is a brand representation. If nuts is something healthy, something clean that you want to portray, prepare it that it is something clean and something healthy. Mm. Avoid distraction and be very clear in your decision. Again, I just want to remind everyone, uh, these are all still planning stage. All these things you must plan first before you shoot, okay? So you must plan your shots, plan where you want to shoot before you start shooting. Because once you start shooting, that's it. It's gone. <laughs> it's already the sugar mixed into the flour. <laughs> then, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, now comes on to okay, something just bounced. Comes on to a few location. Now I'm mm -hmm. gonna give you an example of what you can do with selecting a location, mm -hmm. right? So I'll give you a left video first. Sorry. Ah, uh, let me change the quality to this. So this is something shot at a balcony. Right, uh, and uh, at a nice angle mm -hmm. in the back, we can see clouds. Very homey food that if you want to portray a food that's homey, or your your maybe it's a downstairs cafeteria video that you want to show. There's something that you can do with a bit of meat at the top. If you want to a next level, this is uh, also a partnership collaboration with Mythology that I have, and ah. and for those who are seeing this, you guys get the luxury to see this first time. And I think this video is not launched yet. So Never. those who are live right now, you are having this great privilege of seeing this video that no one else has seen before ever launched later some more. <laughs> so oh, you please last start the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me just show you guys the video. Huh? Okay, I hope you guys are not hungry because if you are, <laughs> <It's time laughs> so I happened my wife is going to cook you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so in any ways, I, I want to thank uh, Kaho and Jenny for allowing me to do this. Lah, because with their green light, I say, hey, can I show this? Ah? <laughs> then they say, okay, so if you are hungry for truffle soup yolk, please pop by to Mythology, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, these are the differences between what you can do at home or you can get someone like us to do for you. Very, it's a bit of a, okay, I would say quite, quite a bit of a difference, but if you're okay as a home cook and you want to portray just a regular content, or once in a while, if you're not a home cook and you want to portray some content, this is what you can do on the left side. But if you want something on a different level, then you can engage us and we can talk to you as well. Mm. All right. You need a lot of people hungry already. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so because tonight I got see you to make anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <my mom. laughs> okay. So um, the reason why I want to show you this is because actually it's the location. The location mm. where I shot at was technically looking like this. At this one location. So some people tell me right, hey, uh, I cannot find a nice place to shoot way. I tell you, this is my dog area where she does her business. <laughs> <laughs> this is finished playing and this is the result of them making a mess and I have to dry it. So I really don't have space one, don't have space one. So but in the end you may be able to find one sweet small spot you can shoot where you can think about the background area. And it's the same case with all the wedding videographers, right? If you realize they find or wedding with photographers, if they find the most impossible spots, right? To actually shoot um to create amazing photo. You can ask Paul for this advice. How does he find like a satan shot like that? Lah? No one would have think 
to take a good photo shoot like that. <laughs> ask Paul to <laughs> yeah, ask people like Paul uh, how to do this. <laughs> and when they take a shot, uh, it looks amazing, why not? Still. Mm. So it's in it's not it's not if even if you have the craziest spot, even it's a garbage dumb la. I hope it's not la. <laughs> even if it's as bad as that la. It is, in, it is still possible to find the best spot. So it's just how creative you want to go about this. Mm -hmm. All right. So location is not a limit. All right. Mm -hmm. So that goes to the plan. All right. That is the whole plan, the whole part of preparing your ingredients. Just planning alone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. far, does anyone have any questions? No questions so far, but uh, a lot of hungry people. Uh. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now when you have all your things ready already, what you want to do is to put it into a mixer, which is the shooting segment. You plan what day you want to shoot. You want to shoot a golden hour. You plan to have your mic ready, so you prepare the mic ready. You plan to pin jump Yahoo's camera phone. You ask Yahoo ready, then you take the camera phone around. <laughs> and then you plan your topic ready, what to talk about. If you do not know your topic again, you speak to Jonathan and Yahoo and what is the content to talk about. If you got all that down, now it's time to shoot. Okay. So when you're done to shoot, now you have to run, you want to consider a few things. Um, in a traditional method of what we do, we usually plan angles, I think, before we start shooting. Mm -hmm. But understanding that mostly SMEs here, we really cannot control this. So that is why angles and lighting is in this segment instead of the pre-production. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is something different compared to professionals. So now you want to shoot, you want to think about your angles. For well, angles is something to think about in high priority. Angles is storytelling. I even mm. see these mistakes done at professional level because the angle is what makes your story, right? So for example, now for today, I just want you guys to focus on three very basic shots. The white, the mid, and the close. Super basic shots, all right? And there's... To, for your information, there's more than these three shots. There is this Dutch angle. There is this moment movement shot. But don't worry about all those angles yet. Just focus on these three and know what the story of these three is. So number one, white shot. A white shot is a story that establishes a location, mm. establishes a subject. So you can see the subject and a fully clothed. You can tell, oh, this person is a casual person. Or this person is a business person in a casual setting. Or this person is a casual setting in a formal, uh, sorry, a casual person in a formal setting. So this is a storytelling to establish your location and your character. Whether she's sad, he's sad, happy or sad, okay? Then you have a mid shot. It's also known as a social shot. A shot where you want to interact with audiences to have a conversation with another person if you have a camera. It's a bit closer, but it's a shot to, to explain. It's not a point-making shot yet. But the intense shot, the close-up, is where you really want to make a statement-making shot. So if you see stories like Nas Dailies, this is what they love to use, a statement-making yeah. shot. Yeah. <laughs> right? So know what you want to shoot and know mm -hmm. why you want to shoot. And mm -hmm. if you realize, right, nowadays I've seen um, like people using a wide-angle establishing of a character in a space, and they start telling about the content about their business and with the table in the front. There is a very big disjointment with the character and your business mm. to the audience. Right? So this is something you must, must consider when you're shooting. Don't have any distraction. If you want an intimate relationship with your audience, consider the mid and the close-up shots. If you want to have a bit of barrier, if you're angry and you want to stay away with distance, then use something like a mid and a white shot. Mm. All right? So this is super important to think about shots and your story okay so um an example if a popular example if you see like guardians of the galaxy it comes in a hero shot of the characters it's an expert it's an introduction shot you see them getting ready for something and then you come out to the social shot where he is actually looking like a casual shot and a statement making shot in this angle so far so good right so far, so good. Okay. Then when you're already seasoned, we already know what the story means, a different angle, you can now play around with emotion. A wide, empty space with one subject matter 
gives you an emotion of the person and the environment and the story that you're about to tell. So these are different levels that I do not expect everyone to follow yet. But generally, you may want to think about these angles for the start. And then this is okay. If you cannot play raw emotion too hard, if you want to make sense, you do not have to do it, you can just ask us, we can chat with you how to do it better. Okay. So far, no questions, huh? I'll proceed. No questions. Yeah. Great. So now, uh, think about your lighting. And I know a lot of you guys do not have professional lighting. It's fine. I'm just going to agree, uh, quickly graze through this. It's something that you must be aware of high importance. I wouldn't say it's super high importance. It's at a mid-level. So as I said just now already, introducing to you guys, everything that's white would be seen first. Then your mm. black will be seen view. Mm. So if you're having a conference call uh, and your background is brighter than your face, uh, means there will be more, most of the time, the eyes will try to fall onto the white areas instead of your face one. It's very, it's very, very specific. And this is how we are built up. And if you're shooting a product shot, please have a set of product shot kit. I ripped mm. this picture right off Alibaba and it costs mm. about 150 ringgit. It's not very expensive. <laughs> and with, uh, with the whole set there. Mm. If you're doing a lot of products and going to shoot a lot of things and product shot, just have something like this. It's a good setup enough. All right. So here is something to just be aware. It's not important, but know that different angles of the light gives you a bit of a different story. I will not mm. delve into it, but I want mm. to show you an example with a human face. Okay. If you see here the lady at the top, that is when the light is at the back and she has no light in the front. So as mentioned just now, I want to go through it again. If you have one light source, you will just lift your subject a bit clearer. Now you will see the first thing is the Langlois in the front. Mm. That, the auntie or Langlois? Auntie, la, auntie in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to have interesting items to create more interest, to create more, more production value nicer, then you can have the hair light and the fill light at the side, right? So if you are interested in hopping into filmmaking a bit in depth, this is called a three-point lighting. Mm. The key, the fill, and the backlight. I will not mm -hmm. go in depth into this because today we are covering fundamentals. But for yeah. those who are enthusiasts to, to venture more, just look into the three-point lighting and the basic setup. It mm. is the is the, the most fundamental lighting that we can go for. Point okay. setup. Mm. Yeah. So I give you an example of what we did for Owner Circle not too long ago. And mm -hmm. I want to see that everything here is deliberate. Nothing mm. here is by accident one. Everything by design. <laughs> everything is by design. Yeah. So remember, I think Raymond has said before, or Raymond, I think Jonathan said before, it's either you design it or you will be by default. <laughs> <laughs> so just a quick example. I won't show the whole video. I'll show mm -hmm. the uh, opening segment. Yeah. Hey, This is the life of a business owner. Nothing to do. Always go holiday. Shopping every time. Correct? Well, but sadly, everyone thinks it is. Nobody understands bosses. Staff thinks you're very free. Your spouse complains why you're not home. Kids only see you leaving the house. Friends think you're very action. Big boss. Big business. Because every time, you just FFK them. Everyone say you, wow, chap Belial already. What is the real truth? Okay, so now I will go through with you what we did on a storytelling base on our planning stage. <laughs> All right, immediately the first shot is an in your face shot, it is a mm -hmm. deliberate statement making shot. Hey, are you a business owner? Mm -hmm. And then immediately we bounce to a casual shot with Raymond speaking to <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> Very casual shot. This is called a social shot. Mm -hmm. Then we have a few B-rolls of introducing when he says about holidays and planes to establish that, hey, this is real holiday. La. Basically, he's trying to relate the story back and establishing of the mall location. And then it comes down to a casual shot that looks like this. It is not a statement making shot. It's an, a, a content telling shot. Then you have a casual lot shot. And then when it comes to making a statement again, let me try to find at the back. When he wants to make a statement again, you will see him in your face again at the back somewhere. Okay, don't have ready, right? Potential statement making face. Okay. In summary, everything here is by design. So don't have your videos just by default. Just randomly. Don't leave it to chance. 
you yeah. have to plan everything. Like even when we were shooting this, I was standing there switching off the aircon because the mic was so was so powerful, right? If the aircon is blowing, if the fan is blowing, or if someone walk past the walkway, our video yeah. got. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up because yeah. this is how the setup looks like in the bottom yeah. left. Yeah. We have tr a basic three-point lighting, mm -hmm. but the space is not very big, but we still mm -hmm. managed to find. So we couldn't find a space to put Raymond in a very, very nice big office background. So we yeah. make do with a flat. So as I said just now, the best case scenario is a big, nice office. But the second option, the second best case is a flat back. All right. We have a teleprompter um, with an iPad at the top. Yep. And we have audio pointing towards Raymond. The yep. aircon was at the top area side. Mm -hmm. Do you see my mouse moving one actually? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, right? The top area yeah. side. So it's very noisy. We have to off the yeah. uh, off the aircon. So now there was questions that asking me, hey, is it okay to show the mic on the subject? Uh? I would say it depends. Mm -hmm. So let's say if your content is okay, it is not a commercial content, it's talking about testimonials, and it's not very important whether or not the mic is there it's more important the, the content is more important then it's fine to leave a mic there mm. but if your content is very commercialized or statement making or something to you you want to have more aesthetics to it they mm. don't have a mic there mm. hide the mic at the inside okay mm. so that is about the production any questions mm. so far on the shooting segment so the shooting segment is a bit straightforward because i think everyone will be doing it on the fly um mm -hmm. As I mentioned, I've reversed the role because we mm -hmm. usually plan then shoot. Some of you guys cannot, ma. So this is where yeah. I put the shooting segment. Up. Yeah. So we are down to our last four minutes. I guess we can extend. I guess the audience is okay to extend the mid, maybe five ten minutes uh, just to finish yeah. off the content and to take questions. Yeah. So maybe Neil, you finish your content and then I will address the the two questions here. Okay. Cool. So baking means. If you have a very nice timing, your flavor is enough, your sugar gum up hole, then you won't have this happening. <laughs> okay. If you have all that messed up, this is what's gonna happen. If you have all that cleared, then you don't have this happening to you. Okay. Number one about baking or preparing your post-production segment. Please organize your files. If you have a desktop like this, please admit and say yes. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please admit yourself if you have a desktop like that. Even internally in my office, I know some of them are like that one, the desktop. <laughs> are you trying to tell your, your team? <laughs> I've been trying to change that, yeah. Mm. So what happens is that if you are doing it yourself, chante, but if you want the next person to do this, edit, take over, and you're busy, it's impossible for them to go through all this, basically. Mm -hmm. It takes right? a time to build a video. Yeah. Like for example, you were saying Nas Daily, right? The, the viral Facebook uh, vlogger. Yes. I can tell you guys, he has 10 packs and above for that single one minute video. He started off by himself. And then as time grow, as his team grow, he has at least 10 packs doing his video. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it takes a lot of, a lot of teamwork. Yeah. yeah. So in this case, we have a big team in our office. So we cannot have house like this. So this is yeah. how our general file looks like. We have laid down to the different project file names. And within that is actually a separation or so. So you create one, just one format and it's duplicatable throughout already. Just mm -hmm. one format. All right. Do the same thing for your Google Drive or your cloud servicing or your or your Microsoft Microsoft storage, cloud storage. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So next one. Um, quickly go through it. If you're using phone, my, my favorite, not really Yahoo's favorite, <laughs> is in short, is in short, even for iPhone and Android. And if you're doing a lot of videos, constantly churning out a lot of contents via a mobile phone, don't be camp shop. It's 39 ringgit. If you cannot, lah, let me know. Lah, huh? I pay your 39 ringgit. Lah. <laughs> wow, open offer, guys. Open offer. I'll pay and then, and then I will build on a circle. <laughs> <laughs> So it's 39 ringgit for a lot of features inside InShot. It's really a lot of features. If you're doing a lot of content, try them out. Super cool. And you have other, all the other softwares to complement as well. Mm -hmm. I will not go through that in depth. You guys want to take a screenshot and you guys Make can explore with all this. Yeah. You guys can explore with all these other features. Premier mm -hmm. Pro is Premier Pro is what we're using. Um, that is the, the professional levels uh, if you want to explore. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go to the next one. 
what is very important so those all these lot are uh, to be aware any okay very important people sometimes ask me hey what color do i want to do for my video so the simplest answer is the color reflects the emotion of your video mm. my question to you is what emotion that you want to portray for your video mm. sometimes people like to do black and white then my question why black and white because mm. black and white very formal very dramatic very nostalgic on black and white videos right so why one orange very confident happy open very successful sociable so if you want to know about this just screenshot and you can also uh, keep it for your sake for your keepsake to reference back lah. super important and i think you will come down to this lah. can i color my video this color so mm. now let's say right if you're having a very food video right then you're supposed to be very delicious one and then pull out you go and put black and white oh. <laughs> so it tells you a different story lah, right so mm. this is something very important okay mm. okay so now uh, just coming to a final few bits um there's another question today trend is hey square vertical horizontal upper margin which one should i choose so for those who do not know square videos are like the one on the left the top two the jason leong and uh, uh buzzfeed one horizontals are the regular ones and vertical videos are these two at the side too okay so if you there is a lot of uh, consideration to this but for fundamental purposes for fundamental purposes just know this thing long tube square book and tall ad okay so what means this long youtube videos with the uh, horizontal square facebook post and tall stories and tall advertising stories to mm. spot stories mm. for insta and facebook stories okay mm. this is the fundamental understanding mm. then whether or not you want to change it around mix it around it's a bit more complex speak to us okay. if you want to know more yeah okay okay so i think this is the last part so um if you guys are using laptop to edit and you want to hire a better voice over to uh, feature your product just know that there are space places like fiverr or the malaysian guild council fiverr is cheap it's just five over usd you can get some professionals overseas but they cannot pronounce sarawak sundaram bahad or the malaysian slang but malaysian film uh, the malaysian voice over guild they do a fantastic job and if you want to find free copyright free audio check out youtube and just find for copyright free audio all you may need to do is to credit them that's all okay so these are things that i wouldn't go too in depth something to be aware and because i think most of you guys will be editing via your phone so not much of a use for these lots okay so now take this you all know now all the three key points ready and within the three key points all your information it's time for you to make okay <laughs> okay so having that said um i want to offer you guys a challenge okay wow um so oh actually before that sorry i missed the skip phone videography has no limits as well you can use one phone in one hand to shoot the entire video or you can do what lady gaga did have a steady greek setup which costs you oh. a price of a viva <laughs> this whole setup <laughs> of viva Oh no, price of a Vios, sorry, a price of a Vios. Every yeah. yeah, yeah. This thing whole setup is about the price of a Vios and shoot like this with mobile phones. So it is unlimited possibilities, okay, for phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now the challenge is as I mentioned just now. So you guys got all the tools ready. So if you make a video and send it to me, this is my email, please jot it down. This is my email. If you make a video like that. You send it to me, and if I see you really put effort, you try a lot of things, and it's still that jadi, right? Basically, I'll be the 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 judge lah. If it's really good, right? Yeah. Let me know, and I will respond to you. And then, if it's very good, let me know. I will come to you to do a one-on-one -on -one personal guide of how your whole business can do a better video. All right. So basically, I'm not going to go there and shoot for you. But I'm going to go there and advise you what you can do to enhance your own shooting stuff, your own shooting elements, right? So again, first thing first, 
learn up all the stuff ready after this this video is going to be available for you to look into it learn ready you make your own send it to me this email and if it's good i know people will tell one one i'm in the industry so just don't whack shoot send me i will know if you do that <laughs> if you have really went through it <laughs> So I know some yeah. of you will just do it for the sake of doing for the homework only and just whack and send. <laughs> I wouldn't pass that. Lah, eh? So if you really put good effort to it, I will come mm -hmm. to you on a personal one on one to help you. Mm -hmm. there, there, is, there is no time limit for it. I will just be there to make sure you can complete it until mm -hmm. start. Mm. Okay. Neil is a fantastic producer. Like, as you can see, uh, his attention to detail is very, very meticulous, right? So, um, yep. Neil, anything else you want to add? I think that's it. Yep. Okay, Thank you so very much. Uh, at, yeah, we round up at uh, one hour and five minutes. Uh, so maybe we we'll take the next five okay. minutes to answer uh, two questions. Uh. So let me just show this question from Kaho. So a uh, question from Kaho, how do I set the lighting so that it doesn't show the glare on my spec when I'm conducting my webinar? I think this one is very relevant because some um, spec is, like when we were shooting Raymond, we have this problem as well, right? Because Raymond yeah. wears glasses. So um, it is, unfortunately for those who are wearing glasses, it is a try and error. It is a pain. <laughs> so sometimes when we speak to talents, right, we just say, can you do it without your glasses? But if you die, die, so we'll need to wear glasses in pro level you have darling spray and so on and so forth but in this level my recommendation is try and error put a light a bit further put the light way further on the side yeah that would be my best. Right. you really need to just play around with the angle like when we were sit setting up raymond's three-point light we just shift around look at the camera shift look at the camera this is the back and forth this is basically the homework you have to do yeah Let's try when you, when, yeah yeah, there's no okay. there's no shortcut to it. It is uh, it, there's no shortcut to it, on there. Mm. But the best way is to remove the glasses, uh, Wear contact lens. <laughs> Ask for glasses for contact lenses. <laughs> All right. So, uh, next question is from Joe Wong. Uh, how do you put the subtitles so nice and yellow color? <laughs> oh, okay. So for us, of course, we've been using a software, um, on our own self now. It's Premiere Pro software. But for if you're doing mobile phone, right? Um, if you just take a screenshot here, there's something called zoom titles. Mm -hmm. Play around with it with your mobile phone. It's something mm -hmm. that you can try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all these tools here uh, are different, different stuff that you can do. One of it is actually a teleprompter for your mobile phone. If you are editing with your computer, you can use some pro stuff like uh, Premiere Pro or any of, of, of this. Mm -hmm. This is what we use. Uh, but if you're using mobile phone, you can explore this a lot. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, even some some free software like iMovie, for example, if you run on a Macintosh, you basically you can use iMovie to do your subtitles as well. Yeah. So I hope that answers your question, Joe. So the last questions I will not flash it. The last questions basically is asking for voucher or promo from this session, yo. So basically, uh, yeah. So so to answer this question for for you guys who are deal hunting, uh, basically the from the promotion today will be uh, Neil's time. Neil will be your producer. If you send him an email with a video that you shot uh, using some of the frameworks that has been taught in the training today. So, so because, um, yeah, so you have to really uh, see that you put in the effort and then Neil will respond to you in the email and then he will come to your office and then he will be your personal guide to advise you using your existing resources, how do you make better videos? So this is the promotion of the day, catch of the day. Yeah, so so can I explain that a bit further? Um, yeah, sure. there's, 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 there's very strong reason why I do this. Mm. Um, so let's say, for example, uh, you, you have enough funds, you don't want to do all this, but you want to hire us as a professional to resolve this problem for you. But what this exercise will help you do, right? It will give you an understanding of the process. Then when we come to you and explain to you, right, you will also know what we are talking about at the same time. Mm. Uh, so yeah. um, I will go there and explain to you so that if I see that you need a different level, a different higher level of uh, execution, I will advise you accordingly as well. 
Yeah. If you do not need a higher level of execution, I would advise how your team can do it for themselves as well. Mm. So that's why, but before all that, you must try to do it first. Then you know the yeah. process of doing the yes, work. Yes, that's right. So um, let me share a bit of my experience with Neil. I think we can uh, stop at the fifth, uh, 4 15. So my experience with Neil was like this uh, Raymond's videos was done by me, as everyone knows, I do everything in OC. La. So, um, so, so when I first did the video, uh, I go and learn Camtasia, I go and use iMovie, and then I hit a lot of roadblocks, right? I realized, shit, I need better storage. Shit, my MacBook Air did not have enough RAM. And then I use desktop. And then when I transfer the file from my MacBook Air to a desktop Windows, there was compatibility issues. Then when you shoot on phone, uh, then there were other problems. And then subtitle all this, uh, you have to do it one by one on your own. So there are all these moving parts. Uh, it can get you overwhelmed if you don't have a producer figure like like Neil. So um, of course, if you are tech if you are fairly tech savvy, if you are fairly attention to detail, you can carry it off. But it's always good to have someone, uh, a, a producer level like you to advise you so that you can um, you can just uh, know where where are the blind spots are right, and then save you a lot of time and trouble. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, this is what I enjoy most about working with Neola. So uh, I will take one last question. The one last question, I don't know who is this. The video can be product or people, right? Can be anything, right? As long as it follows your homework. Can, yeah? can, can be product or people. <laughs> can be product okay. or people. All yes. right. Okay, good. Thanks for the question. Okay, great. So uh, I guess that's all the questions addressed. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Neil again. Thank you once more. If you guys are enjoying it, please drop a comment at him. Give him a love. Give him a love. Uh, we can't see you, but I'm sure all, all of us okay. love, love Neil. Thank you so much for your time. This thank is you, uh, you. Neil from the co-founder of SCM Asia. And their core purpose here is to bring amazing stories to life. So we hope with this sharing, you are able to... Um, Tell your own story, lah. Basically, tell better stories and then uh make it amazing, bake a beautiful cake, right? <laughs> all right, so, all right. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, bye. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Bye.